One thing I'm very sure is you all like face-offs and what better than having a face-off between two titans TCS and Accenture. These two companies are one and two in terms of revenues, in terms of size, in terms of their overall performance, in terms of market size, they are, you know, neck to neck in at least I think six months ago, I did a face off between Accenture and uh, TCS that was around the market cap. TCS was very close to surpassing uh, Accenture's market cap. That means TCS would have been the biggest company had that happened. Now we are doing another face off this time after quarterly um, earnings. So Accenture, uh, Accenture posted their results, I think on 23rd or 24th of September. I covered that separately and TCS and that was Q4 2021 results. So uh, here TCS it's Q2 FY22 results. But we need to see how these companies are performing at this moment of time. So let us see. I will look at the broader headline numbers. So the broader headline numbers are TCS revenue in US dollar terms is about $6.3 billion which is up about 16.8% YOY year on year. Please remember year on year last year the performance was not good therefore the, the low base effect rate comes into picture. So don't go with these broader headline numbers. And if you look at the uh, growth in the constant currency terms, it is 15.5%. What's important for TCS is their operating margins are quite healthy, which is 25.6%. But remember, when we are looking at from investor perspective, anything above 26% is considered very good for TCS, especially in these very good times. So we or the street were expecting that TCS goes ahead or goes past the 26 numbers. In fact, in a couple of quarters ago, they were about to touch 27% of operating margin. So they have come down considerably from there. And if you look at the net margin, it is quite healthy 20.5%. We need to look at the demand, how they are doing well, uh, how they are doing at the moment. Clients in 100 million category up by 5, 50 million category up by 17, 20 million category up by 19, 10 million category are up by 31 YOY year on year. So people, in terms of people, you all have, all want to know about this. So net addition is 19,690 associates and their total headcount um, is about 528,000 at the moment. And what is what you note what you are noticing now is the attrition rate the trailing attrition rate is about 12 percent now remember they have reached this 12 percent number from 7.1 percent just two three quarters ago check my previous discussions on that so you will see they have at least so their 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 attrition has gone has in fact um, gone up by 80 percent or so if we look at their growth numbers in USD terms, uh, from $6.1 billion in Q1 FY22, they are now at $6.3 billion in Q2. And the Q1, Q2, these quarters are considered very um, good quarters for Indian IT companies. Uh, if we look at uh, the broader numbers here, it doesn't reflect that there is um, significant growth or there is minor growth uh, quarter on quarter um, for, for TCS and as I was saying uh, in terms of operating margin if you look at here their operating margin was about 26.2 percent in Q2 FYY FY21 from there in last four quarters they reached about 26.6 percent which was which I just referred to you it, they were close to 27 percent from there they came down to about 25 percent and now it is rising a bit we are not seeing great growth in terms of operating margin uh, margin improvement probably because of the high attrition uh, and lot of hiring they are doing that is reflecting in these numbers and you remember TCS is never known for these large scale little hirings which they are doing at the moment so if uh, you see that pressure over here 
that is because of that in terms of net margin if you see in last quarter their net margin was about 21 20 it was about 21 uh, percent or close to 21 percent it is now coming from 19.8 percent to 20.5 percent so it is a gradual move but still it has not touched its best which is about 21.2 percent uh, two quarters ago if you are employee probably some of these um, highlights are very important for you uh, what it reflects is cloud enterprise application services and analytics as well as iot these uh, broader areas driving a lot of growth and within cloud uh, probably cloud modernization is uh, taking away all of uh, the limelight along with um, probably cyber security and automation these are key drivers um, if you also are somebody who is close to customer probably exp customer and employee experience are other things to watch out for now let us see some of the data points which matter to employees most and if we see q1 21 that means uh, the june uh, 2020 um, their number were about 443,000 employees they had now they have reached about 528,000 um, in, in total employees count and if you see the growth they have added about 90,000 or close to 90,000 employees in this whole year as i explained you their attrition has gone up really big time from seven percent to twelve percent uh, women employees uh, thirty six point two percent in terms of growth markets for them in this quarter uh, we all know north america uh, latin america as well as uk and europe they are big markets for all it services companies therefore no surprise over here and in terms of domain which are growing as i said a couple of times bfsi contributes huge which is about 32 percent if you look at there and it's a growth of about 17 percent uh, retail is coming back uh, with live uh, good growth over there manufacturing life sciences they are coming back uh, there is a lot of demand there communication and media if you look at here 15.6 percent you will see some of that is differing over here with respect to accenture because it is a phase off we have to track these numbers how accenture did in this quarter so i have accenture results over here compared to uh, tcs 6.3 billion dollars uh, total revenue uh, for accenture in this quarter was 13.4 billion dollars so please remember it is more than two times uh, geographies if you look at north america is growing big 22 percent europe is 18 percent and growth markets or other markets 21 percent so if you see the growth between uh, while uh, for tcs all these markets grown below 20 percent for accenture they grown above 20 percent in some cases close to 22 percent if you look at the industry groups what we saw is their industry groups um, is driven by the bfsi uh, retail uh, manufacturing life sciences what we see here is communication and media has grown up 23 percent for accenture which is a bit different over here uh, financial services grown by 20 percent if we see the market over here their financial services grown by 17 percent and uh, uh, if we look at their health and public side services, it's 18%. Life sciences, I saw there, I think it's going, uh, life sciences, 19%. So it is neck to neck. One important differentiating factor between Accenture and TCS is their new order book. Where Accenture is racing ahead with these big numbers, $15 billion in their order book in recent quarter. And before that, I think they were, uh, they were having around $16 billion in their order book in last quarter but for tcs uh, last quarter was if i go back one more quarter tcs was around 9 billion in that quarter uh, that means q4 of 20 fy21 then uh, 8 billion dollars in their q1 uh, of fy22 now in the latest quarter their order book value is coming close to 7.6 billion dollars so what we are realizing uh, over here is uh, while we all know Accenture is struggling with attrition numbers big time uh, close to 21% and if you saw my video uh, probably you will understand I consider that number to be much much higher uh, in India TCS though the attrition has gone quite a bit but still able to maintain a healthy 
uh, attrition rate for any anybody 10 to 12 percent of attrition is considered a healthy attrition while uh, close to 20 percent of attrition uh, is always considered uh, bad attrition or unhealthy attrition so there you see TCA still scores higher but Accenture is leading the pack big time and I told you Accenture from 40 billion dollar revenue a year to uh, now close close crossed 51 billion dollars in revenue in short time frame while um, TCS is close to uh, with this run rate uh, they are close to 25 billion dollars if we compare uh, TCS with Accenture in terms of revenue they are half uh, the size of uh, Accenture however that does not mean TCS is less profitable company if you look at the profit um, year on year profit or quarter on quarter profit they are not there is no such no, not big difference and probably some other day I will explain what's the magic behind these all uh, net profit calculation and how TCS is able to match uh, Accenture on the net profit side so now you understand where TCS and Accenture are heading um, in terms of market cap there is tight fight um, between these two uh, Accenture I think still leading the first spot probably TCS will surpass that for immediate future immediate um, future uh, stock performance probably there will be pressure in the uh, IT stocks in Indian IT stock and which we have been noticing for quite a bit of time now except Accenture uh, except Wipro and Infosys all of these IT companies have been performing not so well and a couple of other names like emphasis and mind tree are again uh, outperforming but these are quite smaller player one deal you know for them changes the whole economics of their business side one good deal we will track other companies also but today it seems it is Accenture which is leading this pack and uh, it is continue to be the market leader uh, in terms of stock market uh, in terms of their revenue in terms of their performance their client base all of it I'll see you with another similar um, uh, Analysis probably Wipro versus um, Infosys which is which is um, coming on I think 13th or 14th of uh, September uh, October Till that time take care stay safe and have a good day